We are going to be making this tobangele in this tutorial. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. This is the fabric I will be using for this tutorial. It's a silk fabric, but it's the thick one. This one for the pleats and the base is uh, 40 by 20 inches. 40 by 20 inches. 40 by 20 inches. This one to tie it at the back is 7 inches by 15 inches. I'll fold it like this and sew. This one is to tie it at the back. Measure 1 inches, then fold it. Then I will take it to the machine to sew this first line before we start our pleats. This is how to do a perfect pleat. I will demonstrate just this line. You just take the measurement from the beginning. I will leave a um, half inch allowance. You see, half inch allowance. Then I will now measure two inches. Then I will measure the middle one inches. You see? Then I will take this one inches, this middle. Then I will come to this where I mark half inches, half inch. Then I will fold it, you see. Then I will come to this way. I will measure half inches. Then I will come back. Then I will measure two inches. Then I will measure the middle. This middle is where I'm going to pick my pleats. Then I'll put it on top like this. You see, when you now do it like this, it will just be easy. You've already picked this place, this place two inches. It's just automatic later when you do the both sides like this. Then I will do again. I will measure half inch, then I will measure two inches, then I will measure the middle which is one inch, this one inch, that's the middle, now put it on top of here. Then I will measure half inch. You see, half inch from this, where these two centimeters end before. You measure half inch. Then from there, I will measure two inches. Then I will come to the middle, I will measure one inch. The middle, I will pick it. Then I will come to meet this half inch I mark here. You see, then I'll put it on top. The way I will sew this pleat, I won't sew it in the right side. I will sew it in the wrong side so that I'll make sure I just sew it, pick it from this back edge. You see, after sewing it, this is how it looks like. It's attached to this. This second one is attached to the first one. You see, I will sew it from the back. Then I will take the second row. You see, this one. This is the second pleat. I'll close it like this. And I'll sew it. So I will fold it. So I will fold it like this. You see, I've already measured the middle. Then you measure it. You just use your barrel to mark the middle like this. Then you take your ruler and use shock because when you use shock, you can clean it later. Then you start to pin, then I'll pin it.
now notch this place this two strap is to sew in the back to tie it after joining the base to the pleat i sew the strap to tie it on it then i'll fold it like this this measurement from year to year is 11 inches and a half folded this fabric is 150 inches by 6 inches these are piece of fabric that I joined together. I will iron it. I will iron it to know the middle. And I'm going to be using this sham on my turban gede. So after ironing it, I can see the middle very well now. So I will start to gather the middle. Then you start to pick it gap gap. What is it called? Running stitch, but invisible running stitch. You just pick a bit. By picking a bit, the thread will not show in the other side. Just pick it. You see? The thread will not show. After gathering it, I will put it front facing front like this. Then I will do a running stitch. After gathering it, this is how it is. So I'll gather here too. You see, I mark here with shock because I put this cap on my head and um, I put this to see where I would like it to stay around here like so like so this is where I want to put mine I'll put it here like this, then I'll leave it there to cool. And our turban is ready and beautiful.